the James Webb Telescope has essentially pronounced the clearest image of Proxima b in history, uncovering stunning discoveries concerning this potentially decent exoplanet. Join us as we set out on an endeavor through space to uncover the secrets of Proxima b and find out whether it might be the next Earth. We ought to take off into the vastness of space. A perplexing planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any standard rock. It's Earth's cousin, Proxima b, located a mere 4.2 light years from us, is shrouded in mystery and wonder. Could it be another Earth with oceans and life spilling over its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima b isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star. It has a singular companion, Proxima c, which may reveal whatever other mysteries the star system holds. Perhaps there's another companion that we still haven't discovered. The mystery doesn't stop there. Proxima Centauri b receives roughly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this indeed mean that there's water on its surface? Perhaps life, as we know it, exists beyond our solar system. We see a remarkably diverse universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the universe, the possibilities of exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even wander freely, untethered to any star, like radical travelers in space. Among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a genuinely striking and baffling planet, with a year that lasts just 112 Earth days and a distance from its star that is several times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Most likely, one side of the planet is constantly bathed in light, while the other side remains in eternal darkness. Now, let's examine Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system, which includes Rigel Centaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri A and B. Together, these stars form the nearest star system to our own solar system. The two stars, Rigel Centaurus and Acentauri B, form the binary known as Alpha Centauri A and B. These G and K type stars appear as one star in the constellation Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky, with a peak brightness of less than 0.27. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf star, M star, located 21 light years from the other two stars. It is indeed the closest star to us. Proxima Centauri means the closest star of Centaurus, in Latin, and was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn. Proxima Centauri remains invisible to the naked eye because of its apparent magnitude of 11.13 which is far beyond the greatest human limit of 6.5. However, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth marveling at. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most prolific in terms of energy production. They may not emit a lot of energy, but the internal convection processes at their core keep them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. However, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one thing, it's a flare star, which means it has frequent and erratic fluctuations. As a low-mass star, the habitable zone would be much closer to it than that of the Sun, projected to be somewhere between 0.23 and 0.54 astronomical units. However, it's not as habitable as it seems. Proxima b likely won't have a stable climate, which is essential for maintaining conditions suitable for liquid water on its surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to dangerous space weather conditions, making life almost impossible. So, while Proxima b might seem Earth-like on the surface, it's far from being able to support life. Many still have doubts, as there are various factors that render it hostile. The mission to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues. Some still hold hope. One instrument that has caught the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. After various delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will assist us in determining whether there is life on Proxima b. However, as with everything in science, things are rarely as clear as they appear to be. Numerous adjustments were required to ensure that the James Webb Telescope produced accurate images. As Abby Bend, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it can also emit it as infrared light. 
The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light. It can take photos of this light on the surface of the planet and search for patterns that could confirm whether the planet has water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet has an atmosphere that isn't conducive to life? The presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee the presence of life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere that is many times denser than that of Earth's, leading to extreme heat that would make it impossible for life to exist. The mission to unravel the mysteries of Proxima b isn't without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are various factors to consider. With costs mounting, astronomers are hard-pressed to figure out how to study planets like Proxima b. The risks are high, but the rewards are even greater. The chance for a fleeting glimpse into the unknown to uncover the secrets of a distant planet that holds the promise of life is one that any serious scientist would take. Going to Proxima b, assuming hypothetically that the exoplanet is hospitable, could we even get there? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it so exciting, as it's almost like exploring our cosmic backyard. What's even more intriguing is that it's roughly the same size as Earth. Its location in the habitable zone means it could potentially have conditions for life. As far as we are concerned, Proxima b's proximity also makes it a practical target for our search for life beyond Earth. With it being just around the corner, well, relatively speaking, it's a tremendous prospect for interstellar missions. Imagine the opportunity to explore this Earth-like exoplanet. However, we can't yet go there. It's certainly on the radar for future missions as technology makes it more accessible. It's one of the most intriguing possibilities in the field of space exploration. However, it is no easy feat to get there. It would take 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nevertheless, a plan has been proposed. Solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to accelerate a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima. This technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the issue of running out of fuel. With expected speeds of 10% to 20% of the speed of light, the journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be reduced to just 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b has reignited humanity's interest in space exploration. It has given us a newfound sense of hope that we are not alone in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a marvel of modern technology that has the capacity to take us back to the very beginnings of the universe, 13.7 billion years ago. This is the meticulously watched secret. The farther away an object is, the longer it takes for light to travel from it to us. This means that the James Webb Telescope can actually see objects in the universe that are farther away than any other telescope before it. In addition, it can observe these objects in longer wavelengths of infrared light, which means we can see many more distant stars with greater clarity than ever before. And guess what? This incredible technology can shed light on the possibility of life on other planets, like Proxima b. However, as with anything so extraordinary, there are some limitations. For instance, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee the existence of life. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick, hot atmosphere that is unsuitable for life. And get this, the James Webb Telescope has the ability to detect such light if it comes to a brightness of just 5% of the planet's dayside. Now, 5% may not seem like much, but when you're dealing with a star that is several times dimmer than our own sun, it's actually a significant amount. Assuming Proxima b has an advanced civilization illuminating its surface, they might be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side of the planet to the night side. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being massive gas giants while others resemble our own Earth. One type of exoplanet that has caught the attention of space specialists is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been dubbed Super Jupiters, even surpassing the largest planet in our solar system. However, that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that orbit incredibly close to their host star. They exist in a blistering world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine being able to observe such a planet up close, with its raging storms and intense heat. In addition to gas giants, 
There are also Neptunian exoplanets, which have sizes comparable to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are hot Neptunes and mini Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, making their atmospheres difficult to study from afar. And we must not forget the terrestrial exoplanets, which resemble our own planet, Earth. These planets come in various sizes, ranging from smaller than our world to double its size. There are even super-Earths, which have masses greater than twice that of our planet yet are lighter than Neptune. One of the most fascinating exoplanets recently discovered is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super-Earth with a rocky mass of seven Earth masses. Despite being close to its host star, it is still too far away to be considered within the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone. It has a companion, Proxima c, which is significantly further away from the star. This planet has an orbital period of around five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. What's even more captivating about Proxima c is that it appears to be an incredibly bright world, possibly due to the presence of a ring system. There are more discoveries to be made in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers identified a change in the star's radial velocity, which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet will be known as Proxima Centauri d and will be roughly the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a world where the night sky is filled not only with stars, but also with countless other planets, each with its unique composition and orbit. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made constantly, it's an exciting time to be a space scientist. While we don't yet have a definitive count of exoplanets, we do know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. However, exoplanets are not easily detectable, and it requires cutting-edge technology and powerful telescopes to identify them. These planets are often obscured by the glare of their host stars, making them challenging to study. Nevertheless, with advances in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible. For an exoplanet to be directly imaged, it must be large enough to be seen by the telescope, far enough from its host star not to be overshadowed by its glare, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can be directly imaged, but they provide a fascinating glimpse into the characteristics and composition of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are typically found through the effects they have on their host stars. The gravitational influence of an exoplanet can cause its host star to wobble, and this radial velocity can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope utilized the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This method has provided significant data about exoplanets, including their size, distance, and temperature. Here are a couple of fun facts. Did you know that more than 22% of stars like the Sun have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? Or that TRAPPIST-1 is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces? Exoplanets like the planets in our solar system can also have natural satellites known as exomoons. With more than 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters, with their mass and rapid rotation, are the easiest to find, but countless other exoplanets are waiting to be discovered. NASA's James Webb Telescope is opening the secrets of the universe one discovery at a time. The telescope has been gathering data and capturing stunning images of the universe, revealing previously unknown wonders. Recently, it made headlines with a groundbreaking discovery that will change our understanding of the universe forever. However, that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy capturing amazing images and assembling data about the universe. The astonishing photos of stars, worlds, and dust clouds swirling and crashing into each other are truly mesmerizing, and the discoveries keep coming. A global team of space researchers used the telescope to compile a detailed inventory of the coldest ice ever noted in a molecular cloud. They identified frozen forms of various molecules, including carbon disulfide, ammonia, and methane, as well as some relatively simple organic molecules like methanol and, of course, water. This extensive inventory provides invaluable information about the formation of future planets and stars.